I'm great. It's good to meet you. Hi. My name is Miss Carla May Atwood. It is a pleasure to meet you. Hi. My name is Taylor. Hi. Hi. My name is Chastity. Hi, Chastity. What's up? Here? Yeah. Do you have a resume? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you have a resume? Oh, yes. Uh, how many copies do you need? Just one. Okay. Just always like to come prepared, you know. Do you have a resume? No, I don't have a resume for you. What, what is your prior experience? You've heard of the merger between Google and Yahoo? Well, I was instrumental in facilitating that. Experience? Uh, well, I mean, I've, I've basically done it all. I mean, I spent a couple semesters in college, dropped out of that, went, uh, went hiking in the uh, Himalayas, backpacking through Europe, down to Costa Rica, ranching in Wyoming, you know. I don't like to settle down anywhere, just, you know, go where the, the wind takes me. What is your prior experience? Sir Ray, you are looking at the Miss Yellow Daisy Festival Queen of 2001. Been like 17 bands over the last couple years. Like, um, the Lotus Squadron, I've been in the Black Death, the Bubonic Plague, um... I worked in retail. I've worked at stores such as The Limited, Limited 2, Justice, Just for Girls, Tears of the Children, Guess, Lucky Brand, This Mortal Coil, Brooks Brothers, Bloodshot, Hmm, oh, The Gap, Chasm, Esprit, Express, Cutters, Cutters was a good one, Lane Bryan, that was kind of weird because we all know that I'm not plus size, um, hmm, Feedback, Tommy Helfiger, that was only a couple weeks though, I don't know, I didn't like them very much, Mad, M-A-D, uh, Mutually Assisted Destruction, and then most recently it was Gap Kids. How do you evaluate success? Well, success is definitely measured by how far up the food chain I can move. How do you evaluate success? Um... Success is how hard you can rock out. This one time, I rocked out so hard, the blisters on my hands burst. I think success is a job well done and leaving your customers satisfied. I view success as settling down and having a beautiful family and, and possibly a position at church, lots of children. I mean, hearth and home are really irreplaceable in our lives and I just believe that eventually my duty in life is to settle down and have plentiful children, plentiful. It's all about relationships. What you have with other people, that's what it's all about. I mean, the bottom line, none of that matters. It's the connections you make with people. That's success. I mean, I'm thinking 11, 12, I mean, possibly 16. I mean, women make it work all the time. <laughs> How well could you handle stress? I think the best way I handle stress is by receiving a long back massage. Stress? <laughs> I mean, what is stress? Next. How well can you handle stress? I can handle it. Can you handle stress? Oh yes, definitely. Stress is a great motivator for me. It just, it helps me get things done. I love stress. Can I handle stress? Of course I can. I mean, if your ringlets are not curling correctly, five seconds before you have to walk out on stage, I can handle that. <laughs> and if you lose your rouge, I can handle that. You see, you just take a little bit of red lipstick and you put it on your cheekbone and you rub it in and it creates the illusion of blush and you didn't even need to have rouge. I mean, I can handle all sorts of stressful situations. If you were an animal, what type of animal would you be and why? A monarch butterfly. <laughs> Puma. Uh, Galapagos turtles. I, I'm a sort of a world traveler and they are the most fantastic animal I've ever seen. Uh, my mama always told me in high school that I was just like one of those orange and black monarch butterflies, always flying from flower to flower, you know, like groups of people. It's, it's a metaphor. You see, I'm friendly and I'm happy all the time and socializing is really my calling in life. I can make other groups of people happy, no matter who you are. <laughs> You know what? I think I'd be a pink flamingo because not only do they have great balance, but they make such cute lawn decorations. 
It'd be a raven. Just a raven. Oh, I'd be a cheetah, most definitely, because they're the fastest animals on the planet, and they are so efficient at killing their prey. And that's how I am. I'm just efficient. And are you prepared to take risks on the job? Oh, definitely. I love risks. I skydive, I snowboard, I ski. I'm a risk taker. Are you prepared to take risks while on the job? Yeah, I take risks like every day. I've been chased by the cops. I tag stuff. Next! Risk is inevitable, so you can just do your best. All right, um, I'll call you. Okay. Well, it was very nice to meet you. Thank you. I don't know what kind of risks you're talking about, sir, but I am not that kind of woman. I am a wholesome Christian lady. I have never in my entire life been so insulted. Next. Uh. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you aware that this is a desk job? Nope. Next. Hi, I'm uh, Mike Dole. Like the banana. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Sit down. Thank you very much, sir. You have a resume? Ah, uh, yes, I do. Thank you. Mike, if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be and why? Ah, uh, well, you know, I think I'd want to be an earthworm. Really? Me too. Why? Well, yeah, you know, I think they're just underappreciated in our economy, and, you know, it's, they're really, they're really great animals. How do you evaluate success? One day at a time, take it in stride. Nice. And are you prepared to take risks on the job? Absolutely. I would feed my hand to the beast if it came to that. Well, I will be your immediate supervisor. In fact, you're the only person directly under my command. I've been promoted. That's why we have the opening. We are the backbone of this organization. That sounds terrific. When can I start? We'll start you right away. I'm going to entrust you with a very complex machine. Well, there you are. Welcome to the company. I'm glad to have you join our ranks. What the?